Hi, I'm Skyler. This is an interesting topic. It's how to use iPad to write a novel. Well, how would you use a pen and paper to write a novel? You'd start writing things down, and then you'd take those documents and you'd organize them into folders. At some later date, you'd take those folders and synthesize them into chapters and sections, and finally, the whole thing. Well, what tools can approximate that experience on an iPad? And my question really is, does one require complex software to write a novel? I believe the answer is no, but there are some things that can make it easier. One such application designed for the Macintosh is called Scrivener. What I'm looking at here are a lot of Scrivener tutorial videos. And some of these talk about how Scrivener can be integrated with other applications that work on the iPad. For example, Evernote. Here's Evernote. Evernote makes it pretty easy to assign bits of what are called metadata to your notes and scribblings, chicken scratch, whatever you want to call it. So let's see got a lot of notes here, like this old napkin note. This is definitely part of my quest to write the novel. So I'm looking at this picture that was actually probably captured using my iPhone. Okay, so immediately I see some things about this that are related to other things that I've written. I'll tap the I up here, tap tags, tap find or create a tag and type in sham. Let's see, yeah, planning an entropy, planning an entropy. So I'm going to type in tags and then planning. Entropy. So later, let's say I'm doing a search and I tap search up here, then type in entropy. Any note photograph, audio recording, text file that I've typed into Evernote will then come up because I've tagged it with that. Now let's say I remember where I was when inspiration struck. If I used Evernote to capture what I was thinking about in that moment, it also recorded my location. So I would be able to look at, let's say, a map right here, places. So I tap places and I can see all the spots where I've created notes, in my case, mostly in my hometown. But look at this, when I zoom in, I see more discrete locations. So if I remember that I was at, let's say, not my house, but my favorite bar in Portland, we'll zoom in farther, and let's, oh, there it is, number one, Moby Dick in the Bayou, that was at my friend Ian's house. Let's see this one here. That was in another place. Is that the place that I remember? There we go. That is a critical thing for me to remember the chapter I wanted to write in my novel. So what tool would I use to do that? This is largely a matter of preference, and there are a lot of word processors available for iPad. You know, by word, pages, those are a couple of them. I use something called Write Room. This is Write Room. It's pretty simple. I'm going to make this full screen. It makes me think of an old computer, like uh, an old terminal. Just the colors of it, the font, the feeling of it. I use a Bluetooth keyboard and I connect that to my iPad and I just set my iPad up in front of me and type away. If I want to type without the keyboard, it appears on screen. I've got quick controls like tabs, punctuation, etc. And if I exit full screen, I can also see folders. So what you see here is that I've got notes stored locally. It can be synced with Dropbox. And I've got Evernote as a database for helping me to remember when inspiration struck, where, and how. So using those two tools, I'm able to synthesize things in a way that just a pen and paper wouldn't allow me to do. Anyway, 
It's largely up to you to explore how you might do this, but I hope that these couple tools I've mentioned help you find your way. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.